To my heart, what we do to each other, Lord, have mercy. In the days of our, this is so pitiful. I can't even think of the words of the song because um, this is a story that uh, I mean, we deal with mental stuff here, and that's what it's about. And, and this story really disturbed me. Um, Asia Womack was 21, and um, she lost her life to who police believe a gentleman by the name of Cameron Hall. And the reason why he's on the run is because they believe that he killed her because she beat him in basketball. No, I'm not kidding. This is not a joke. This is for real, for real. And this is how... <laughs> How weak some men are and they can't deal with their emotions. And that's what they lead with. So anytime I got a man that leads with his emotion, I know that's a situation that you need to back off from. Okay? Because no sane and rational person leads that way. So if I find myself getting too emotional about a situation, I got to check myself. I have to check my pulse. You understand what I'm saying? And either walk away from the situation and leave it as it is. Because this story really struck my PTSD. And simply because I was in that same situation. And I can probably pretty much tell you that most women who played ball and were good or whether in the, even if they played on a collegiate level or high school level or and even in the WNBA, most of us who were good, we didn't even want to play against the girls, and we didn't consider that. We didn't consider now. I don't know about nowadays, but I'm talking about back in the day with your Cheryl Millers and the Teaspoons and those of us that grew up, the Don Staley's, and we didn't think. That it was a legitimate basketball player, or the Huff sisters. I ain't gonna leave y'all out. <laughs> that unless we were playing against guys, because even we knew they were stronger than us, but we also knew that if we was quick and if we had game and we can get up if they knocked us down, then we could play ball. Now I don't know what it's like now because I'm not a gen gen Xer. Um, and I'm not familiar with the millennials, okay? But this is the kind of behavior I know for myself when I was in college. I was, my team was beating, and I'm going to tell you the difference between the men then and the men now. But this guy was clearly, he, he had a mental problem, and we all knew that, okay? And he was just... In our gym, our, our pickup basketball league, this guy got mad because I was taking the ball from him. He got mad because I would pull up and I'd shoot. And I could pull up from anywhere and shoot. Um, and he was totally disturbed by it. Even I, wouldn't, I wasn't afraid to try to back him down. And I would have a teammate that was cutting, and then I'd pass the ball to the teammate. He didn't like the way I was playing the game. And lo and behold, he ran back and cracked me in my jaw. Okay? This was, this was a pickup game at school. But one thing I do know, I can talk about the men of old. And remember, 
We all knew that this guy was, and no disrespect to anybody, he was slow. Okay? But at the end of the day, he punched me. And all the fellas on the court jumped on him. Got him up out of there. What's wrong with you? What you gonna hit her for? What? Why are you hitting this? You see, and that's the difference. There was some self-control. He was out of control because he was even emotionally unbalanced. And we all knew that, but we let him in the pickup game because we wasn't prejudiced against him. So this story that I'm reading, I know what happened. And I wish any female hooper, <laughs> because, you know, I had that choice. I had to make a choice between playing sports because I have a brother that was all city and that was all state and went to Iowa State and he was good. So I had ball all around me. I also had my brother who was a, um, um, a welterweight champion, Golden Glove. Okay, but see, women didn't box then. So I could play basketball and I could sing. And those were my two keys. A lot of people hated me because of it and a lot of people loved me because of it. But this particular guy, like I said, he was very emotional. And he killed, I mean, and he clocked me because he couldn't take the heat. The kitchen, the heat in the kitchen was, let's just put it like that. It was too much for him. So this story bothered me on so many levels, and I want to share it with y'all. <sighs> and you'll see what I'm talking about. A Dallas family is facing terrible pain tonight. Police continue to search for a man that family called a friend who's now accused of killing their daughter. And the reason for the shooting might have you shaking your head in disbelief. Steve Pickett reports that killing apparently surrounds losing a basketball game on a playground. Silence bounced off the backboards of T.G. Terry Park this afternoon. The basketball court sat empty while a mother and family tried to comprehend an incomprehensible act. Asia loved basketball. <laughs> she loved basketball to the point to where she died doing what she loved. Monday, 21-year-old Asia Womack. She died after being shot multiple times. Police and paramedics found her near Dallas's Fair Park Grocery. But it was here, on the basketball court of Terry Park, Asia Womack played a game against a friend. Police identified that friend as 31-year-old Cameron Hogg. There's an arrest warrant for him now. She's eating with this man. She's fed him. And he turned on her and killed her in a vicious way. The motive for shooting and killing Asia Womack, as illogical as it may sound, the family believes the suspect didn't like losing a basketball game to Asia and didn't like hearing about it. Police were told Hogg became angry after being teased by Womack after losing the game. This is so senseless. This is so, you become embarrassed, basically because a female beat you in basketball. If you know where he is, where his whereabouts are, please, please turn him in. Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News. Now, if no Negroes turn him in, then they might as well have pulled the trigger on her themselves. Because the definition of a weak Punk ass dude is this right here. I mean, seriously, you shot her. Y'all getting mad because Draymond punched his teammate in the face. But that it happens. It happened. Like I said, dude hit me in the jaw. But to shoot some damn body, you know you out of control. You already know you need to have several seats and you need to be on lockdown because you are a rabbit dog. You're a rabbit dog. And we need you off the streets. So you're probably hurting really bad knowing you killed your friend who was talking shit to you 
because she beat you in a basketball game, and that's what Jordan Poole did. He was talking shit, and he got clocked. Okay? But to shoot somebody is totally unacceptable. It's totally out of order. And it's, it's totally something that we should not accept in our community. So unless he even killed himself, and he's hiding, I mean, his body is in the bushes somewhere, there's no way in the world he should be in a community in, uh, living. He shouldn't be sitting up here talking about, oh, what am I going to do? If your family member, if your brother, whoever it is, did that, you are enemy of the community. You are enemy. And I don't care what color you are. I don't give a damn what color you are. This guy just happens to be black. But you are enemy. You Not only are you an enemy of your community, you are an enemy of yourself. Somebody, nobody can't beat you. You can't take the heat. So you kill them. My God, my heart goes out to the family. I pray for them. Oh, God, because it's too stupid. It's too stupid. Okay? There's nothing worth you kill. Is it really is nothing worth Nothing like that. It's too ridiculous. So I don't know. Maybe it's just me because I'm from a different generation. Few generations ago. Okay? With that being said, I'd like for you to share your opinion with me. I don't know if you've heard the story. I don't know if you think that that's the kind of punishment that she should have got for laughing and talking shit to him for beating him in a basketball game. Let me know your thoughts. Let me chime in below. And if you like what you hear, please like, please subscribe and share your channel. And I'll see y'all in the next video, okay? All right. Be blessed.